What you guys are looking at right now is called auntie duties. Listen, having four kids is so much different than two. And I know it sounds like an obvious thing, but just add a dog and like a husband, listen, kudos to the parents that went beyond the two. They made the mess, left the mess. The mess got worse over a week. And today I just couldn't stand looking at it anymore, but I do enjoy my nieces. I love their company. This is the first room that people see when they're coming inside. And on the scale of embarrassment, this is like a 21 out of 10, like it is time. I'm tidying up today to prep for my autumn decluttering series. This is part of it. I just, just gotta get this part out of the way. There's so much stuff in the house that has been forgotten, unused, and it's just taking up space that we barely have. And it becomes a bit overwhelming when I see so much clutter, especially in spaces where I don't go often. And then when I do, it's just like, yeah, it's just a reminder why you don't go in those spaces. And, you know, even though everyone has chores in the house, it just always feels like I'm carrying most of that weight. So I'm just trying to make my life easier. Having less stuff just probably makes it easier to clean. So far, I've decluttered a lot of clothes, a lot of blankets. We've downsized on blankets. Is that how you say it? Downsized on blankets? By a lot. Like I got rid of a lot. And some sheets. Um, of course I didn't record any of that. Like I was on a mission. I was on a mission, but this time I was like, I should invite you guys. Let's let's do it together. Let's tackle this together. So now it's time to get rid of the things that everybody in the house think they need once I start loading up the donation boxes. But I might have to do this in private <laughs> when they're not home. I've been watching the Carla project for a while. She does a lot of decluttering and that's really what motivated me to make my home a little lighter. I wanna say she did like a hundred item decluttering video. I don't know if that's what she named it, but I love that idea so much. I'm planning to use that um, in the future. So here's what the vacuum picked up, which surprisingly is way less stuff, but it does have a lot of um, like the finer dust. And I did uh, use the Swift mop on the floor too. Uh, we don't do shoes in the house, so <laughs> it really starts from the um, sunroom or porch, whichever. And just to remind you guys what the porch looked like before and what it looks like now. All right, so we're done with the porch or sunroom, whichever. And now we're heading into the living room, one of my favorite spaces in the home. The living room is probably the easiest to clean. Like Ziggy pretty much owns this space because it's usually his dog toys and stuffings that are all over the rug which I'll be deep cleaning in my autumn blogs, but right now we're just trying to tidy up and just make the house look clean. This space is where homeschooling happens, movie nights, game nights, where the boys hang out. So for it to look this good, <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm surprised there are no Legos all over the floor. That's, that's what's surprising. I used to vacuum less frequently um, with my old vacuum, but since I've gotten this one and I'm able to see how much fur lives in our carpet on a daily basis, yeah, I vacuum like every other day now. So I went from weekly to every other day and I don't know what it is about seeing <laughs> the fur inside of the vacuum, but I don't know, it's like I look for those moments. So I really do enjoy vacuuming. It doesn't feel like a chore or a burden, so. I 
And now we move on to the dining room. Look, I've tried candles, and I do. I love a good candle. But for some reason, for me, it just doesn't compare to the incense, especially when you find the right scent. Mm. This one is vanilla. It smells so good. Like, it just makes me feel so warm inside. It puts me in, like, this calm mood. And honestly, I use it as, like, a timer. So once it stops burning, I usually stop working because I feel like it burns for a good amount. So that means I've been working for a good amount, which is fair. I think that's fair. If ever anyone is looking for anything, I guarantee it's on this dining table. This table doesn't stand a chance with us living here. I'm just saying. But you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I really wouldn't. Hopefully next summer, God willing, we can polish up the floors because, yeah, way overdue. Way, way overdue. For a while I contemplated getting a rug to go underneath the dining table just to add like more warmth to the space, give it a little more character. But the amount of food that is left behind after every meal. Yeah, I threw the whole rug idea out of the window because that's just not happening. Sweeping underneath the table is so much easier than what I'm picturing in my head if I get a rug. So I'm pretty content with this and how it looks. I do eventually want to change like the black seats, the originally white. I changed them, what, a year ago or two years ago? So now I'm actually thinking of a different color my head is going for yellow or red. Let me let me know what color you guys think would look good in this space um, for the seat covers. You guys know that one room you really want to avoid, but you know you have to come face to face with it eventually? That's it. This is it. This, it's, for me, it's the kitchen. When it looks like this, yeah, I'm not cooking. That's why there's so many pizza boxes in the recycling. But I do prefer home cooked meals, so. So, whether I want to or not, here we go, because we need a home cooked meal. Poppy is so helpful. I don't know if you guys saw him when we were in the dining room, but he was helping on the other side to scrub the chairs. He also um, wiped down the floors in the dining room. I was just trying to keep him off camera uh, just to be more mindful. But yeah, he's very helpful. He So now he's just working on the recycling and my oldest will take out the trash when he's done.
What do you guys do at home? Do you guys use the dishwasher or do you guys wash the dishes by hands? Um, we don't have a working dishwasher, so even if we wanted to, we only have one option. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you guys do or what you guys prefer. If you prefer to wash by hands or use the dishwasher. I just want this space clean. When you guys see my basement, you'll understand why I, why I didn't even attempt to um, organize anything. The basement is actually my next video. I, <laughs> if my, my uh, porch was a 21 out of 10 on a scale of embarrassment, listen, this basement, that's it, that's all I have to say. When you see it, you'll see it. You'll understand. <laughs> For those who have been following me for a while, you know that I do not use paper towels and I don't own a microwave or a television. Um, I really try to be mindful as much as I can to the environment um, in a lot of areas in my life, but not completely, <laughs> but I'm working on it. So just using rags instead of paper, to paper towels is um, one of the things we do in the home. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I hope this motivates someone <laughs> to get some quick cleaning uh, marked off their to-do list. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Kim signing out. Thank you.